Hello and welcome back to another episode uh, with me, Dylan, and Frugal Outdoors is the channel. Uh, I'm absolutely beat. I've been working all day. I've been working all weekend because uh, we had a festival here on the Isle of Wight and we got a food trailer, so we were working it. Hence my voice is a little bit croaky because I've been shouting at people, shouting orders out. And I haven't been fishing for three weeks and, uh, and I've missed it and I'm absolutely buzzing and I can't wait to get a rod in the water so I'm not going to keep you chatting too long. Uh, I'm going for bream and I'm going for bass but I am going to use some uh, peeler crab, spider crab for the bass so there's a possibility of a hound. Uh, we are down at, uh, well I call it uh, Yarmouth Common, it's called Boulder. there's a viewpoint car park up there and, uh, and I've done quite a few videos from this spot and I normally do okay. Uh, especially if there's bream around so hopefully you can get bream ross has got a couple of rods in already there's a few more guys coming down later uh so without further ado i'm gonna get set up and uh i'll try and get some footage of the scenery uh and the evening because it is stunning and uh yeah let's get some fishing right i've literally i haven't even got one rod put together and ross has just pulled out that lovely bream that's got to be got to be what one and a half pound isn't it at least yeah, wicked man. So it looks like something's chomped at its tail on the way in because it's bleeding. So something's had a little nip at it on the way in. Maybe a bass. I don't know. It seems like a big old bait for a bass, but you never know, I guess. Wicked man. Well done. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's as far as I've got. He's he's been in the water for like I don't, about ten minutes. So let's get let's get set up. Right. There we go. Quickest setup for one rod. I think I've done basically this is my bream my standard bream rig no frills just knots on there on the swivel to hold the beads in place can't even see that um, there we go so that's just knots holding the swivels in place because I keep I mean these come off and snap and then I can just tie a new one on no mucking around uh, so that's a bit of squid on there size two uh, Oshawnee Oshani hooks uh, and I've just took a stuck a crab leg on the bottom of him. I want to get this out ASAP because he's just had one. So let's see what we can do. There we go. Right, we're finally in. Uh, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to make that a bit lower because you probably can't see, even see the top. Uh, so it's only on a 12 foot rod. I've just brought the 12. I've got three rods, but I'm only going to use the two, obviously. Uh, I'm going to use a 12 foot and uh, 12 foot Abu Garcia enticer, I think it is. Um, and my 13 2, uh, which I'm going to chuck out to the left of me. Um, like I say, I'm going to go bream rig on that one and I'm going to chuck out a uh, mackerel head. And I'll go through the bait and stuff in a minute. But uh, Let's just. <laughs> I just really want to get a rod in. Three weeks is a long time to not be fishing when you're really into fishing. So yeah, fingers crossed. Second rod set up. This is basically this is a rod that went over. Um, that that uh, I had to replace the eye, and um, they did that down at uh, West White Angling for me. It cost like three pounds fifty. Absolute bargain. Did it there and then. Didn't have to wait. So that's superb. So big shout out to them at West White Angling. Thank you very much, Rob, for doing that for me. Uh, and in the process, I bought a new um, sliding reel seat as well because the other one wasn't started to slip and I couldn't couldn't get the thread when I was taking the thread off this piece was staying up and it totally detached itself I've maybe I'd over tightened it or something I don't know but um, it's another one it's an abu again uh, and then you can just undo that one undo that one slide it up and down um, but yeah so that is all on and ready to rock and roll so uh, let's quickly show you what we've got double check uh, I know I said I was gonna put a big bait out on but there's bream and I like eating bream so I'm going to go with a, a one up one down and literally all I've got on there is a big bunch 
of legs. I wanted to um, have a go at just fishing with legs one night, just and literally just using legs. Um, I've got loads of them in the freezer, so uh, so that's just crab legs. Uh, one up, one down clips. They're on size one hooks, I believe. Uh, so yeah, let's chuck this out. All right, let's get this one out. A bit of business. All right, time to relax. Get another rig ready, bait it up, leave it sitting there, and I'm done. Hopefully, be able to bring you back to a fish. It's absolutely glorious. I mean, it's glorious everywhere in the world. Well, not in the world, but certainly in the UK at the moment. We've got some fantastic weather. It's like 28 degrees today. Like I say, it's, uh, it's Tuesday. I don't know what the date is, 11th, 12th. Um, bite on the right hand rod and uh, yes yeah, I think it's three weeks to the day that I caught that stingray and that's the last time I went fishing so hopefully we can get some eating fish I really like fishing for food uh, likewise so does Ross um, but he's targeting something else a bit bigger today whereas I'm just targeting something small that I can eat and hopefully maybe a bigger bass later Yeah, I've just done my first bait show. First one was totally weeded out, and the second one was totally stripped, so. Uh, I've kept them a little bit closer in this time. Both just got clean crab legs on them. Hopefully we can get a bream, that's what I really want, a bream and a bass. Something to take home, you know? Right, there we go. So, Ross has just kindly lent me a rig. Um, he's had two brew now. One is like tiny, but uh, just to have a little play, really. Um, it's really, really small, really simple. I've uh, got some tiny little size fours. We've got, got tiny little bits of squid. I'm putting a plain lead on there. Hopefully, you can see it. Uh, and it's got a size two on the bottom. Um, there are shiny hooks as well, or like Chanu style hooks. But I'm going to I'm going to tuck it out in a minute, really, really close. It's got two bits of squid on the small hooks and a couple of crab legs on the other one. But he's getting bites, maybe like 20 yards. So Not really having a sniff. Had a couple of bites on the right-hand rod, which got stripped. But that had squid on. I've had nothing on the crab legs, which I'm a bit surprised about. But I really want to persist with the crab legs. I think, don't see why it wouldn't be a good bait. But he's got worm, and he's catching on a worm. I haven't got any worm. Uh, it's quite a few turned up now as well. So, so we've got uh, Martin, Lyndon, and Neil. So five of us down here. So now we're going five pounds in for biggest fish. <laughs> as you do. Now, like I was saying earlier, I was at the festival at the weekend. I saw a couple of subscribers, which is really nice. And, uh, and really friendly. Now, I've had a rig off of Dobbo before, and it's caught me a fish. And he sneakily came by the trailer and uh, dropped me off another one. So we've got, uh, it's all um, trident. Looks like we've got like maybe a 3.0 specimen there, and maybe a 3.0 chinoo. 
It's a lovely looking rig in all fairness. Way nicer than mine. Uh, and it's an up and over. But like I say, it's all in the Trident. Trident hangover. Trident rotor clip. Can't remember what they're called. But one of those, if you can see it. And uh, yeah, it's stunning. And now we're having a little comp. I'm going to put a big bait out on that. Some crab. See if there's a hound. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'm going to whack this big old hunk of peeler crab. All I've done is I've taken the, the legs off and the back. Loads of juice coming out of that. And uh, lob it out, see what happens. Not going to put it out very far because there's still a bit of weed in the water. Yeah, but maybe 40, 40, 50 yards. <laughs> Look at this. Tiny little blenny, that's one of those little four size four hooks. Right, quickly get it back in. No, no, it'll survive the fall. I've got to be really careful with these. Apparently, I think they lose their scales really easy. But it's a red mullet there. Now, they're really good eating. I don't know what keeping size is, so I'm going to have to have a look. But it looks very, very small to keep. But I don't think they get massive anyway. But there we go. Look at that. That's stunning. Well done, mate. 18 inches, 4 pounds. UK minimum size is... Oh, that's cool, man. So, yeah, new species. It bites straight away on that. Literally just cast it out. Uh, yeah, red mullet. Keeping size is 20 centimetres. That was only about 15, 16 at a push. Not big enough to keep. Uh, but it went back all right. I have seen that the um, basically when I've seen them catching them commercially, um, they do say that the scales come off really easy. Uh, but he only lost a couple, and then it's gone back to to swim. So, and I've never never caught one of those. I've I've known a few people that have caught them, and I know they're really good eating, but obviously not big enough. Not today. Well, it's getting pretty still now. Light is starting to go, kind of. So my chances of getting a bream are pretty slim now. I think they're slim. They're certainly running out. Nothing went for the crab legs. I'm really surprised. Uh, I've changed it up a bit. I've, I've bound some of the legs together because actually when they're coming back, they're kind of like coming back hollow. So like the fleshiness that's inside is getting taken out or washed out. So the rod on the left, I've pinged them out quite far, well, as far as I can go, but I've bound them on, bound them together this time in the hope that it will keep some of the meat in there. But yeah, not had a sniff on it. Big chunk taken out of that um, big crab boat that I, took, that I put out there. Uh, so I've got a crab and squid wrap ready to go. getting bites on that little rig but um no takers but yeah i'm tough to i'm tough to get red mullet it's a shame it wasn't in size but i said i've never seen one before but then our water's pretty warm at the moment i mean we went swimming like four times yesterday 
Justin Shorts, you know, it's really nice. The mozzies are coming out now. There we go. And that one drew blood. Wow. <laughs> This sunset is absolutely amazing, and you cannot see it at all. Uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, we've well, I've been fishing for about two and a half hours. Uh, the other boys have only been fishing for about an hour and a half. Uh, Ross obviously been fishing for a bit longer. We've all caught uh, all micro species at the moment: little wrasses, little bass. Uh, yeah, Ross had a little bass. He had a decent bream, but he's also had two really small ones. Um, I've had the, what did I have, a Blenny and um, a Red Mullet, which I'm really chuffed about actually. Uh, yeah, so we got, I've got a bigger bait out at the moment and I've got a two hook flapper with just some plain squid on. Hoping to try and get, a, I mean, it's quite light on here, but it's actually like the, the sun is setting, the sky is so red over there. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping last chance of trying to get a little bream uh, that I can take home for food. I've chopped up a load of lovely chum there, uh, which is all mackerel guts, uh, two mackerel heads that I've just like chopped and chopped and chopped. Uh, so I'm going to chuck that out very shortly because uh, one of these rods, when I bring them in, whoops. Uh, I'm going to chuck a mackerel head out because uh, there's a little um, groin right to my right and uh, I'll chuck the chum out as far as I can um, which won't be very far Oh, I think I might be able to get in a bite uh, Yeah, chuck the chum out and then I'm going to stick a mackerel head down there and see if we can't get a bass uh, and then I'll probably fish one with one for bass one for hounds not really that fussed about a hound if I'm honest but a fish is a fish. Uh, I'd rather a bass, um, but yeah, I'll take I'll take a hound. Uh, yeah, just be nice to get something a bit solid, rather than the micro species at the moment. But we'll see how we get on. It's early early days. Still got a good three hours, maybe four. Might push it to one o'clock tonight. So it just it depends on the tide. If the tide doesn't run really bad, and there's a bit of weed out there, but it's all all um, eel grass, you know. That sun is amazing. Uh, oh, I'm getting a bite. One sec. Yeah, that bite hasn't come to anything. Still a few little taps on it. It's on the big bait as well. Gutted. The sun is amazing. I wish I had a better camera. Um, yeah, I forgot to bring down my um, chest camera in my haste of trying to get out. Forgot my rag and I forgot my chest cam. So uh, there's a little bit less footage. Uh, for tonight's session. It's been a little while, like I say, so it's going to take me a little while to get back into it. Uh, hopefully we can bring you a fish. Uh, that's the mission, anyway. But we'll see. Oh, there it's going again. It's a big bait. I think I've probably got bream having a go at it, but I don't know. Oh, hang on. There we go. Ah, oh, man, I missed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've just literally just chucked that little tiny rig with the tiny little hooks out again. Uh, it looked like breamy bites, because um, it was on the squid as well. Uh, so it's certainly at this time of night now, might get, you know, the last sort of, like, that's, I just, you can't really, let's see if I can, there you go, boom, look at that, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna change up, I mean, that's that's pretty much how dark it is now. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, change the rig up. I think I'm going to go with a mackerel head on a running ledger. I'm going to try and stick it as close to that end of that groin as I can and see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed.
Right, that bass bait is in. Basically, it's just in this sort of, uh, let's, have, let's see if you can see, yeah. So basically, well, you'd probably have seen it, actually. It have dropped it just about there. Uh, and that's where I've chummed up. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll set a tripod up here, get a light shining on the rod tips in a minute so you can actually see what's going on. Hopefully you get to see a take. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it tonight. I don't know if, I, if I'm feeling, because I haven't fished for a little while as well. I think my confidence is a bit low. But yeah, hopefully, man, hopefully we get something decent. Been on there for ages. Oh, that's a real shame. I've got a bream, and I said, didn't I, that I thought I had a bream bite on it, on going at the uh, at the squid, and the poor thing's been on there for ages. It's dead, unfortunately. Tiny little thing. Uh, so I won't let it go to waste. I will chuck it out as a little bass bait. But yeah, look, gutted. First bream of the year, but he's long gone. Yeah, shame. Oh man, I really hope I get one. Okay, well we got a bream. That's the first one. Last year my first bream wasn't much bigger than that. And then I got one again about a week later, so hopefully it could be the same. But three species, all tiny. Biggest one has been 15 centimetres. Well, still haven't had a sniff on it. I'm going to leave it out for a while because it's a head, you know, so it's got plenty of time. Right there. But it is now dark, so I'm just hoping. I'll give it another couple of hours and I've got three mackerel heads that I want to use. So I'll probably give each of them about an hour in the water and I'll use the rest of the crab up on the other rod. I'm surprised none of us have had a smooth hand yet. Man, I don't know if you saw that. It's getting some really good bites on the... Um, I'm trying to be quiet, but it doesn't make much difference, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I have some really good bites on the um, mackerel head. Uh, so I've chucked it back out. I've stomped on it, basically stamped on it to get the juices out again, and I've just chucked it back in the same place. Or somewhere in the same place. But yeah, something was having a good... There was bites, for sure. But whether it was bass or not, who knows. And I've chucked the rest of the chum out now. I've got one mackerel head left to bait up. Uh, I'm gonna chuck another, um, gonna chuck a, the, one of those longest things out. I haven't tried one yet. I've wrapped some squid with it. So I'm gonna chuck that out on the left hand rod and see what happens. Right, 
we're going out with that next. It's quite a biggish bait for me, really. Uh, half a crab, half a um, spider peeler crab, and um, a whole squid on the side of it, just wrapped up. So I'm hoping I can get something. But there's four of us down here, and nobody's pulled anything out in the dark yet. So be nice if I was the first. There's got to be a hound out there. Anyway, let's switch this over, chuck this out. Right. Not a lot happening. Chuck that mackerel but head back out and literally nothing again. So I'm gonna try something a bit different. Got the uh it's all all the legs. Basically it's all the legs wrapped together. Oh, we can't see it. There we go. A uh, load of um, crab legs, all wrapped up in a big bundle, big sausage. I'm going to chuck that out, see if that will uh, entice something, because nothing else seems to be. Wow, it's hard work, man. <laughs> Rods have not moved since it got dark. So basically, yeah, that red mullet was the last fish I've had. I haven't even had a bite. Well, I say that, I did have a bite. I had a bite on the bass rod. Uh, and I missed it. Uh, too keen. I sort of th I feel something. I don't think it was a bass. Like I say, there was something having a go. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really slow. So I've just done another cast out, uh, another fresh mackerel head, my last mackerel head, and a um, I think it's that uh, crab leg sausage. Um, it's really close. There's a lot of weed moving out there, so anything over sort of 30 or 40 yards. Um, it's just getting clagged up with weed. Uh, so yeah, so I've got two baits left. I've just wrapped up all the leftover little bits of rag, a couple of squid. Uh, I think there's um, a razor clam in there. I've just wrapped it all into a sausage. So I've got two baits left to chuck out. Um, and then that's gonna be me done. But yeah, I'm gutted, man, I've gotta be honest. Thought was, there's four, uh, four of us down here, so I would have thought one of us had pulled out of at least a smooth hound or something, but yeah, not to be yet, yeah, anyway. But there's still, like I say, I've got just chuck them out, give them 20 minutes, and then I'll chuck the last two out and see how we get on. Well, there we go, last cast. Do I got any, um, what we just chucked out? Uh, crab and squid wrap and uh, and basically a bundle of ev all the bits and bobs left over so I've got n I'm taking no bait home I've cleared a little bit of space in the freezer I've had a new species so give these a little soak slowly pack a few bits away hopefully get a last fish but it's not looking promising <laughs> it's been super super quiet there's four of us fishing and like I say, none of us have had a bite while it's been dark. Well, for a couple of little knocks here and there, but uh, certainly no one's landed a fish. So, but yeah, pack a few bits up and then I'll come back in a bit. Well, <laughs> it's time to wrap this up. Gutted I couldn't get another fish. Let's say, especially bringing the camera out, I haven't been fishing for three weeks and I really wanted to try and get a good session in, like, just to keep the confidence going. The last time out was when I had that stingray and a really good sized hound, um, but I didn't get any eating fish um, and I wanted something to eat, which is why I wanted to go for bream. Bream and bass tonight, but it's not to be. Uh, I did get red mullets, so that's a new species for me, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't bring you any big fish today so I do apologize um, but yeah I do want to say a big thank you to all of you as always for your support um, it's been amazing like I say from from the very beginning um, you know it was a bit bit of a slow grower the channel and stuff and then it's just gone from strength to strength and, and the feedback that I get is phenomenal um, a lot of great feedback from people on the island um, so a big thank you to you all uh, Dobbo for, for a couple of rigs mate awesome thank you um, but I'm gonna bring one of these rods in now and pack one up and then I'll bring the other one in so for now I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, and hopefully I
I'll see you all in the next one. And uh, yeah, until then, take care, stay safe, and uh, maybe see you out on the beach. Cheers.